So, let me explain the meaning of input design. Input design is a raw data that is processed to produce the output. During the developer, the user must consider the input device such as PC, MICR, and OMR. The quality of system input are determined to the quality of output. The input design properties Firstly, it should serve specific purpose effectively such as like a storing, recording and retrieving the information. Secondly, it ensure proper completion and accuracy. After that, it should be easy to feel and straightforward. And lastly, it should focus on user attention, accuracy and simplicity. All the objectives obtained to the knowledge of basic design principle regarding to the what the input needed for the system and how can user respond the element between forms and screen. Next, Anis will explain about the principle of input design. Input design has six principles. First, to select a suitable input and data entry methods. Second, to reduce input value. Third, to design attractive data entry screens. Data entry is a process of manually entering data into the input system, such as keystrokes, mouse clicks, and touch screens. Fourth, to use validation checks to reduce input errors. Fifth, to design required source document. Seven, six, to develop effective input controls. Okay, now I'm going to talk about it, input technology. Input technology are divided into two, which is first batch input and second only input. I'm going to explain about batch input. Batch input means by enter data in batch. Data entry for batch input is scheduled on time basis uh, on any week, day or month. Batch input are usually uh, used for transfer data from 9R3 from 9R3 to R3 system. It also used for transfer data between R3 system. Okay. 
This is my review of the RFID blocking men's bifold wallet by Access Denied. So the regular aspects of this wallet are, as you can see, it seems perfectly well made. It's, uh, it's quite a smart wallet um, and I'm perfectly happy with that aspect of it. What I'm interested to know is how well does it block RFID? So I have uh, a Visa credit card, one of my credit cards, and on my uh, Moto X uh, phone I have a, uh, a tool called NFC Tools which can read RFID. So if I put the card on the, on the back of the phone you can see it uh, makes a noise and it can clearly register that. In fact uh, the phone will register the the card at quite a distance, uh, as you can see through this uh, notebook. If the screen is still turned on, um, so that's what about a centimetre thick or so. So the the phone can read the card at. Uh, quite some distance. The question is, can it still read the card when it is in the wallet? So to test this, I'm going to put the card inside here and close the wallet. I'm going to remember to turn my screen on this time and I'm going to thoroughly scan all of the way over there. And as you can see, it gets nothing whatsoever. Now, I'm just going to turn the screen back on. I'm going to open up the wallet, and I'm just going to scan again all over the area where the card is and again I'm getting nothing whatsoever so the protection for the card is clearly across the whole sleeve it's not just on the um, outside portion of the wallet and just to demonstrate that again if I take the card out of the wallet Well, uh, that will scan immediately. So, um, on the face of it, 
uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, now one more interesting thing I noticed while testing out this wallet is that it has an internal ID pouch which I don't know if you can see is just uh, just looks like some clear plastic. Now if I put the credit card inside the clear plastic and again turn the screen on on my phone it cannot read it. Now this surprised me and I can't explain it uh, but uh, I've spent plenty of time trying to do this and it absolutely cannot detect the card but again if I take the card out it will detect it straight away so uh, in summary I am very happy with this wallet it does exactly what I wanted it to and I would recommend it. So this time I will explain the examples of input device. Here we have the set of CPU. We have scanner, keyboard and mouse. So this is the examples of input device. So the function of the input, this input device is to provide us data and Control series to a computer. We have types of examples. So we have barcode reader, biometric, and audio device. Barcode reader is an electronic device that can read and output the printed barcodes into a computer. Biometric device. Uh, it is a security that uses identification and authentication device. So this method uses automated device to recognize and identify the living person. It is based on psychological and behavioral characteristics. This include eye reach, facial image, and audio rec and sound recognition. So lastly, for audio device, uh, there is device that used to capture sound. Example scenarios, point to sale, aka post, is the terminal that equipped with magnetic card and barcode scanner that read data from credit card. Second is ATM machine that read data from the strip cards. So we have come to the end of our discussion. That's all from us. If you like it, hit the like button down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!